going to go ahead and replace our brake caliper and caliper bracket located right behind the driver's side front wheel. The job is the same for the driver as it is the passenger side. Using a 22 millimeter socket, let's go ahead and remove our lug nuts. Get remove our wheel. Go ahead and set that aside. What we're going to do is go ahead and separate our brake caliper from the caliper bracket. We're going to use a 13 millimeter socket, remove both of the bolts or slider pins here. Remove the caliper, set that aside. Now I want to go ahead and pull our rubber boots with the pins. I'm going to set those down. Now we're going to add just a little bit of grease to our slider pins here and reinstall. Now we don't want to add too much because we don't want to hydro lock it with too much grease in there. We just want to add a little bit. This is a security measure. Slide that in and pop our boot back on. On our brake caliper, we have our bolt here and our copper washers for where the flex hose, our rubber flex hose will attach to. We're going to go ahead and unthread our banjo bolt here. And we have two copper washers. When we install this, we got one on the bolt side. We're going to install the flex hose block here. Then we'll install the other copper washer on the other side of that and then install it into our caliper. We're going to follow our brake hose down to our flex line block right here. We're going to go ahead and use a 15 millimeter socket. We're going to remove this here. You want to make sure you have a catch can or some towels underneath. Brake fluid is going to run out of this here. We're going to open this up. Open this. Remove our copper washer off the back side. Put our new bolt and copper washer on. Grab the other copper washer, put that on the back side here. I'm going to go ahead and grab our new caliper, slide that in a position, get this on. I'm going to use our 11 millimeter socket. I want to snug that down. At this point here, we're going to use a hanger. Put it through and we're going to put this up to hang that caliper off to the side. You want to make sure that you have a strong enough hanger. You don't want to add additional pressure hanging on this flex hose. You can damage it. We're now going to remove our brake caliper. There are two bolts. There's a 13 millimeter up top and a 13 millimeter down the bottom. Now when we loosen and remove this, brake fluid will come out of the port where we just removed the brake hose from. So keep your drain bucket underneath. Remove the two bolts. We should be able to go ahead and work this caliper off. Now, if it is giving you a hard time, you can use a pry bar on the top to go ahead and work this off. I'm trying to work our pistons in a little bit here, give us some flexibility to go ahead and pull this caliper off. So that's separated, go ahead and put that in your bucket. We can now go ahead and remove our brake pads. And our brake pads are in excellent condition, so we're going to reuse these pads.
Just go ahead and remove these two large bolts holding our brake caliper bracket to the knuckle. We use a 21 millimeter socket in our breaker bar. Let's go ahead and loosen these two bolts. Once we have those broke free, we'll go ahead and put our ratchet on there and remove them. Probably gonna get it to a point where you can remove the bolts by hand. Now when you do this here and your caliper comes loose, the brake rotor will also be loose. You wanna be careful that, that brake rotor does not slide off of the wheel studs and land on your foot. Remove the bolt and the bracket. On the inside of our new brake caliper bracket, this is the point where the brake pads are gonna be sliding. There's two on the bottom and two on the top. We're just gonna put a little bit of grease on these points here. You don't wanna put a lot, we just want a thin coating and we're just gonna smear that around with our glove. Once that's all set, let's go ahead and install the bracket. Once those are started, let's go ahead and snug those down. Go ahead and snug those down. Make sure they're good and tight. I'm gonna go ahead and reuse these pads because they are wearing nice and even and they are like new. I'm gonna install our new pad slider clips here. And just slide that off. We're gonna go ahead and clean the bottom ear here. Take our new clip and I'll slide this on here like so. Just get and repeat for the other end and then the two on the other pad. Now in doing this job, you wanna make sure that you don't get any type of oil or grease on the pad surface itself. That will ruin it. Slide that into place. Let's get it install our pad to the outboard position here. Slide that in. I'm gonna repeat this process for the inboard pad. Once we have these lined up, let's go ahead and bring our caliper back down. We're going to slide that over the top. I'm going to swing this down. I'm going to squeeze our pads together. 
slide our caliper over the top. Just gonna install our caliper to caliper bracket bolts. Go ahead and snug these two down. Let's go ahead and torque down our banjo bolt to 21 foot pounds. Once you're all set, go ahead and just give that a wipe down for any residual brake fluid that might have leaked out upon the installation. Just torque down our brake caliper bolts to 24 foot pounds. It's good to torque down our brake caliper bracket bolts to 130 foot pounds. On the back side right here, you're gonna have a rubber cap. Pop off that rubber cap, and this is going to expose our brake bleeder screw here. Using a 10 millimeter socket, we're gonna go ahead and loosen this. What this is gonna allow to happen is any air that's inside of our brake caliper is now gonna have a gravity feed of brake fluid that goes in, fills up our piston area, and then comes out through this right here. It might take a little bit of time for this to bleed. We're just gonna allow that time for this to fill up and come out on the top. Now we have some brake fluid coming out. So let's go ahead and snug up this bleeder here. I'm gonna give this a wipe down, clean up any residual fluid. Now at this point, we're gonna go ahead and hop in the vehicle. We're going to pump up the brakes. As long as the pedal feels good, then we should be all set. If the pedal feels soft and spongy, you wanna go ahead and start the brake bleeding process uh, for each of the wheels until you get a firm pedal. At that point there, we're gonna install our wheel. We went ahead and pumped up the brake and they feel fantastic. We're gonna go ahead and install our rubber cap here. Let's go install your wheel. Get a lug nut started. Let's go ahead and snug these lug nuts down. Let's get torque down our lug nuts to 130 foot pounds. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.